Now, some people are going to disagree with me, but I think it's really important that you put your face in the video, preferably your face and your hands so you can talk like a teacher, because teachers use all the tools available to us to get the point across. And if you're just a disembodied head talking over the top of a PowerPoint slide, it might work and it might get the information across, but I don't think it's very engaging. Okay, so here's some, here's some proof, I guess, to back me up. Now, you've seen this before. 7% um, of the, our communication is through the actual words we say. And 38% comes from the tone of our voice. Um, you've probably gotten trouble from your significant other before where they're saying something's fine, but it's not fine. And you can tell it's not fine because of the tone of their voice. Now, finally, we've got our body language. And 55% of the way that we communicate comes from our body language. And a large amount of that body language is right here on your head. Uh, your eyebrows go up, your eyebrows go down, whatever's happening. You, you look upset, you look happy, you look angry. These are all things that don't really come from our, our tone of voice and, and our words. Um, now, a lot of people are worried. A lot of people say to me, oh, but I look so silly on video. Yeah, you, maybe you do, but you pretty much look like that all the time anyway. So you're going to have to get used to the idea that when you're walking around day to day, you look exactly like you look on a video. So just get used to it. All right, uh, there's my argument for putting your head in the video.